Greetings, greetings this wonderful Sunday day. It is, I believe, the uh, 18th of June, 2023. I'm filming this in my uh, Hero 10 as my regular camera is being utilized elsewhere. Today, we're going to be testing out the new GGI Mavic 3 recent firmware came out probably a couple months ago and I'm going to be demonstrating it for you all and I would like to say that this is something I've been looking forward to for a very long time so here we are in a, this Newport News area here and uh, as you'll see by the video footage that uh, the fires from Canada is uh, has an effect on the smog here. But I'm sure it's not as bad as other places are. So for that, I am grateful. Okay, here we have our Mavic 3. You have seen this in videos before. This is the regular Mavic 3 with its two lenses. And I am quite pleased with this machine. However, DJI has added a new feature in the most recent update as the filming of this video. So here we have our Mavic 3 and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. We have here our RC Pro controller, which I've had for a while and I do fly with the Mavic 3. And uh, with its bright screen, it has performed quite well and I'm quite happy with it. But I've often wished that there was a way that I could be able to see it through FPV goggles or first person view goggles. So here they are, the, av the avatars, goggles three here. It has a battery pack in the back here. And uh, I just happen to have it in this case because I have the Avata and its batteries and its controller. But the uh, subject of this video is these two components right here and I've often wished I could fly it with the FPV goggles so I could frame my shots up a lot better being able to have those goggles these goggles are being able to see through here gives you that much more immersive view as to exactly what the camera is seeing now don't get me wrong, the, RC, the uh, RC Pro and its wonderful screen is wonderful for being able to see it. But with the goggles, it gives you actually being there and you're able to actually frame your shot perfectly and move the quad around exactly the way that you want to see the actual image. And that is very important, at least to me. So I am able to fly with the RC Pro and with these goggles. There's very simply, once you've updated the software for the goggles, for your RC Pro and for your Mavic 3, you're gonna be able to do it. Ah, the sun has gone behind the clouds. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, we go over here and we fire up our Mavic 3 here. Okay, goes through its little boot up sequence. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn on the RC Pro. Wait for it to boot up. automatically detects the drone. There we go. I don't can see that or not. But you're seeing the view of the actual DJI Mavic 3 drone. Okay, this is the important stuff right here. We're going to be taking off with the drone. The home point 
has been updated. Please right. check it on the map. We're gonna hover it there. And then we're gonna turn our goggles on. All right, you can see the RC Pro is here, showing the picture. And then in here, you're gonna see if you can see the picture in here. All right, here we are. We have the drone behind me. It's hovering. We see the picture right here. And I also see the image in my goggles. The reason why there's that beeping is because it detects it's close to the ground. Confirm, and now I will take this and I will now control the drone. I will now ascend. I'm seeing the picture exactly as the drone sees me. All right, here I am. There you go. I'm waving. Hello, hello. I'm controlling the drone.
All right, so as you can see there, a very successful combination of DJI coming out with the ability to use our Avata goggles, Avatar goggles, uh, in with the, and this also works with the other, the previous version as well. I have both. I just choose to use these that uh, are set up for this uh, with the Mavic 3. And being able to frame your shots and to go, and you're able to get a lot more closer to things as well and being able to navigate obstacles a lot better being able to do so inside your goggles so being able to see what the actual camera to see is it will uh, a game changer for me and uh and i hope that you are able to utilize this feature as well now you don't need to use the rc pro but that's just what i have you can use a regular controller that comes with the mavic 3 and it'll work the same the only reason why I have the RC Pro is because that's what I was using for the Mavic 3 in the first place. That's uh, not a necessity. That is just what I chose to do. And so, I want to thank DJI for enabling this feature with this latest update because it is really going to help me in my business. I'll see you around. And go ahead and share your experiences uh, with this operation uh, as well in the comments below. Au revoir.